Tomorrow is World AIDS Day, and according to the United Nations, nearly 40 million people around the world are living with the AIDS virus. Nearly 400,000 of them are here in the U.S. Still, while the number of people contracting the AIDS virus continues to skyrocket in Africa and Asia, the situation has stabilized here. So do teenagers still worry about AIDS? In the first part of a three-part series, we'll look at the AIDS situation in the U.S. Two decades ago, AIDS seemed like one of the biggest issues around. We will, I will, do all that God gives us the power to do to find a cure for AIDS. Thousands marched demanding that a cure be found. Others marched demanding that children with AIDS be kept out of school. At one point during the 80s, AIDS killed nearly 50,000 Americans a year. But in the last decade, the number of deaths has declined. And now... I don't really worry about AIDS that much. No, I don't really worry about AIDS. It seems like it's not as a big deal as it used to be. Dr. Anthony Fauci was one of the pioneers of AIDS research. Now, there's the perception, a wrong perception, clearly a misperception, that it's not such a bad thing to get infected because we have drugs, we can take care of people better, you don't see a lot of dying people around you. That's a very, very big problem. The first AIDS case in the US was reported in 1981. Eventually, scientists discovered the disease was caused by HIV, the human immunodeficiency virus. This is how the virus works. HIV attaches itself to a healthy T cell. Those are the cells that help protect your body from infection. Once HIV attaches itself to the cell, it begins invading it, turning the cell into a factory that produces more HIV. The fewer healthy T cells you have, the more difficult it is for your body to resist infection. People with AIDS typically die from infections that their bodies are no longer able to fight off. Over the last two decades, AIDS has had many faces, like Ryan White, a 13-year-old who wasn't allowed to go to school because he had AIDS, actor Rock Hudson, who died of the disease, and NBA star Magic Johnson, who announced in 1991 that he had contracted HIV. Because of the, the HIV virus that I have attained, uh, I will have to retire from the Lakers uh, today. Since then, a number of drug therapies have been developed to slow the spread of the HIV virus through the body. The results are promising. In the United States, people like Magic Johnson have been able to lead full lives with the help of drug therapy. But scientists warn that the drugs are not a cure and that the only way to make certain you don't get AIDS is to abstain from risky behavior. The problem is, even with the good drugs that we have, it's a very bad thing to be infected because the drugs don't always work. They have a degree of toxicity to them. Sometimes they work early on and then no longer work. And you're still at grave risk uh, for advanced disease and death if you get HIV infected. While the number of new HIV infections in the U.S. has fallen to approximately 40,000 a year, some experts are worried because that number hasn't fallen any further. In some other countries, HIV is spreading at a much faster rate. Sub-Saharan Africa has over half of the HIV cases in the world. There are over 25 million Africans who have HIV. And in other parts of the world, scientists say it could get much worse. And what we're really concerned about now, in the coming years, is that the next epicenter is going to be in the Asian countries. Already, countries in Southeast Asia are greatly affected. One of those countries that scientists worry about most is China. Tomorrow, we'll see why. Here in the U.S., those who've contracted AIDS still face fear and misconceptions about the disease. Get one teen's story about her experience with AIDS and her family by going to our website. Just head to channel1.com and look for our special report on AIDS around the world. We'll be right back with more after this break. Hopeful, yes I am, hopeful for today. Take this music and you.